Minus Simon McNeil, number two, Morley Street, Richard Dunwoody reunited, number three, Valfinet, or Valfinet, I should say, Peter Scudamore. Number four, Gallant Effort doesn't run, number five, Moldboard, Carl Llewellyn, number six, ruling ridden by Mark Dwyer. Only five line up, but they've won over £660,000 in winning place prize money between them. Let's check the odds. And Valfinet easing, the 11 to 10 favourite. Morley Street 15 to 8 from 2 to 1. Ruling is 11 to 2 from 6s. Van Alba, a 12 to 1 chance. And Moldboard's the outsider at 33 to 1. They're all quoted for the Agfa hurdle. Going on from Ruling in second place and then in the third, Gran Alba the Grey, followed by Morley Street and Moldboard. That's the order as they come down towards the first. And it's uh, Valfinet leading from Gran Alba in second place, and then uh, showing third is Ruling. So Valfinet at the first, jumps it well. Others over safely. From Gran Alba on the left, Ruling on the right with a yellow cap, Morley Street held up. And uh, Moldboard, the check colours on the extreme right of the picture. Valfine skips over num flight number two. And Moldboard rather balloons it a bit, but certainly safe. So it's Valfine clear by about uh, six to eight lengths. Over Gran Alba in second and ruling, and then comes uh, Morley Street. So there's our leader, Valfine. Uh, as Valfinet makes her way towards the back straight. I'm told that uh, R. Magret has uh, won the big race at Weatherby with deep sensation and blazing Walker in a photo for second. So victory for R. Magret up in the north. So they begin their downhill run to the back stretch, and it's Valfinet leading from Grand, uh, Grand Alba in second, and then Ruling showing third, and Morley Street fourth, and Moldboard fifth of the five. But Peter Scudamore certainly not uh, hanging about on this Valfinet, probably one of the most improved hurdlers in training. And so they begin their run down the back straight, and as they continue their run down the back straight, it's Valfinet leading. Valfinet by about six to eight lengths to, in second place, uh, Grand Alba, then showing through to third is Ruling, followed by Morley Street, and the back marker is uh, Mole Board. Head down towards flight number four, and uh, as they go to it, it's still Valfine leading. Valfine from uh, Gran Alba in second and then Morley Street in third, followed by Ruling. And then comes Moldboard. Still little change as they skip over the next, or at least the leader does. Valfine certainly piling on the pace. And Richard Dunwoody now has uh, sent Morley Street through into second place. And I wonder if uh, Peter Skew has just slipped the field here. Morley Street through into second, and then Gran Alba in third. And Ruling is uh, some four lengths adrift, but a length in front of Moldboard. There's Valfine from uh, Morley Street in pursuit, and then Gran Alba, Ruling, and Moldboard. And these horses are no slouches, I can tell you. And Valfine is spread eagle with them. Morley Street's in pursuit in second, so they start the turn out of the back straight, and it's Valfine, the leader, clear by about uh, ten lengths to Morley Street, who's being ridden along by Richard Dunwoody, but he's at 10, 12 clear of Grand Alba ruling a uh, mole board. They're starting the turn into the home straight now, and they've got just two more flights of hurdles to jump, and it's a Valfine clear by about six to eight. Morley Street's trying to get closer, but having to work uh, to get to it. Valfine uh, is the leader, making all the running in the Agfa hurdle. Two more flights of hurdles to take. They're inside the final three furlongs, but it's Valfine in the lead. Interesting one off the pace uh, coming through is ruling, and Moldboard's making ground too, but surely they're juggling for places only as they come down towards the second last. Valfine is over in the lead. Moldboard's over in second. All of a sudden, Morley Street has uh, really gone out the window, not even in the picture. So it's Valfine, the 65 chance, being pressed now by Moldboard, who's really eating ground. It's Valfine only by four legs at the last. Valfine from Moldboard in second place. These are well clear of ruling in third. And Valfine is suddenly looking tired. And here comes Moldboard and Carl Llewellyn to seize the race in the last half furlong. Valfine surely can't fight back. He can't. It's Moldboard who's going to take it at the post. Moldboard is the winner. Valfine is second. A big, big gap then uh, to Ruling, who plugged on to be third. Grand Alba in fourth, and looking back, Morley Street has pulled up on the flat, so there's something clearly wrong there, the result 
of this, the Agfa hurdle. It's a win for number five, Molborn, in the colours of Wallace Dirt, trained by Jim Old. There's Morley Street, who went out like a light as they came for home. But our winner is number five, Mulboard. As I say, in the colours of Wally Sturt, there he is, a double for Carl Llewellyn this afternoon on this 33 to 1 shot, Mulboard, trained uh, by golfing expert Jim Old. Number three, Belfine, the six to five favourite. And third, number six, Ruling at 92. A rather measly tape return, win £19.60. The place is 230 and 160. The dual forecast came to 14 pounds and 80 pence. A non-runner was number four and five runs.